Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to increase and decrease your stitches. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. How is everyone doing on today and welcome back to my channel. So I already have just a starter, st a starter swatch, just five rows of some 10 double crochet and I'll show you what to do from here. This is just in case you need to increase or decrease in a pattern. I'm going to show you how to do that. So now we're going to step into row two and I'm going to make what's called a double crochet stack. And if you want to know how to make this double crochet stack, I do have a quick reel on how to do that. So I'm going to turn my work. I did not chain as you can see. I'm going to go into that first stitch with a single crochet, go into the back loop of that single crochet and make another single crochet. This is going to count as a double crochet for me. Then I'm going to take and make another double crochet into that very first stitch there of the row. That gives me two double crochets. Now I'm going to double crochet all the way across. And that's pretty much what your increase is, is adding an additional stitch to the same stitch from the previous row. So now I'm going to make some double crochets across here. I'm going to speed up so we can get through this faster. Okay, so now we are getting close. We're at the end and we're at this double crochet stack and you just go ahead and place two double crochets into this same stitch here. Okay, so now we have made our increase. We made two increases and now we have 12 double crochets. So now I'm going to turn my work again. Remember, I no longer chain depending on what it is I'm making. And I'm going to make another double crochet stack. Okay, so now I've made my double crochet stack. I'm going to go into this first stitch with another double crochet. If you are chaining and your chain does not count as a double crochet, then you will skip, you go into the first stitch with two double crochets. If it does count as a double crochet, then you will go into the next stitch with a double crochet. Do not skip a stitch. So now I'm going to double crochet across and I'm going to speed up to get through this part and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the end and I'm at my last stitch. I'm at my double crochet stack. And in a moment, I'm going to add another double crochet there for another increase. So that's another increase for you. So now we again, we increased two times. So now we should have 14 double crochets going across now because we made those two increases. So now I'm just going to make a simple row of double crochets going across. Again, a lot of patterns will have you do this when you make your increase row. Your following row will be just a row of double crochets without increasing. So I'm going to speed up so we can get through this part and I'll be back. Okay, so I am close to the end of my row and I'm putting my last double crochet into this row here and this in this stitch here, sorry. And again, that's 14 double crochets going across. So as you can see, it's beginning to fan out, beginning to go outwards a little bit. And again, I'm counting my stitches and I have 14 double crochets going all the way across. Okay, so now we have our increased rows here. We have 14 double crochets going across. We started off with 10 double crochets. Now we're going to work on our decreasing. So now for those who have chained, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to chain myself. 
to show you what that looks like. So we're going to chain two. And again, all of my subscribers know that I only chain two for a double crochet. I just think it looks neater. So now we're going to go into our decreasing. And the way that you decrease is you go ahead and yarn over. We're going to do a double crochet decrease. So for your double crochet decrease, you yarn over, go into that first stitch. This chain does not count as a double crochet. Go ahead into that stitch there, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through only two. Now yarn over again and go into that next stitch. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through two only. Yarn over again and pull through all three. And now just double crochet all the way across. Just like we did when we were increasing, when we made our increase, we then double crocheted across. So now that we've done a decrease, you're going to double crochet all the way across. And I'm going to speed up from here through it. So now we're at the end, we're at those last two double crochets there. We're going to do another double crochet decrease, yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over again and go into your last stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three. I spilled something earlier on my yarn, so please forgive my little blue stain there. Thank goodness this is just a swatch. So now we're going to go ahead and decrease again. We're going to chain two and turn. But now we went from having 14 stitches to 12. So that's one, two. You're going to count the two that you brought together. You count as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now go ahead and chain two and turn your work. I'm doing this with chains because um, I just want to show for those who like to chain instead of doing that double crochet stat. Now we're going to decrease again. So we'll chain and turn your work. Yarn over and go into that first stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through all three. And now again, make your double crochets all the way across. I'm going to speed up again for this part so we can get through it. And now we're going to decrease. So go ahead and yarn over again. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and go into your next stitch. You can always find your next stitch. Remember, just look for that V there. And that's the top of your stitch. So go right into there. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three, and there's another decrease. So now we have 10 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Sorry. <laughs> it, it looks like two stitches, but it really is only one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How I get eleven stitches? It should be 10. Oh, I'm counting. Oh, I'm crazy. I'm counting that same one. Okay, so now we have 10 double crochets. So it looks like two here, but this is really just one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you have your 10 double crochets, and that is how you decrease. 
You can do it one more time um, to get 10 double crochets. But guess what? We started with 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We started with 10. We increased. And then we decreased it back down to 10. So that was two rows of increasing and then two rows of decreasing. And that's how you make your increase. That is how you increase and decrease your stitches. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tiami Crochet. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.